Hello there, Trailblazers. Yesterday we got the details for version 2.7 uh, through the live stream, and I'm at the page over here for the uh, new adventure on the 8th dawn. So I'm at the web page. So from uh, from the link provided from the game, let's get on with this one here. I'm gonna keep the music. It's fine, not a big deal. I think I have to dial it down a bit more. So we'll try to dial it down for the dawn for you guys so that you're going to oh, you can't able to hear better there okay let's get on with this one here so we got as as the league suggested we got uh sunday as well as fugue i got the pronunciation for fugue wrongly so fugue, i pronounced it as fugue so sorry about the one so i usually i get the pronunciation wrong all the time anyway so fugue most of the time actually not all the time so most of the time i get the pronunciation wrong so fugue will be here so she's an a uh, nahili character uh, with the uh, fire damage and uh, sunday is an a uh, harmony character with the uh, uh, imagine it, damage yeah totally forgot so if you have akron so this is my suggestion suggestion though so you don't need to follow it so if you are falling in love with the uh, sunday go for him but if you have akron, akron and uh, her signature icon as i do over here it's better to go with the fug actually so fug will provide more benefit for your akron since uh, she is in a she follows uh, the path of nihility and as well as uh, she's in a fire damage de dealer we don't have that much um uh Five, five star, like a, we don't have that much that many characters when it comes to highly based uh, uh, fire damage dealers so we have uh, uh who are those uh, gallagher gallagher uh, G gallagher i don't know the pronunciation for him still and then we have uh Gunaifan. but fugue is much more better better, better choice when compared to those both of those units anyway and a lot of um enemies in the game uh, does have fire weakness like um, recently recently um so it's better to like combine her uh with akron so that's my opinion though that's my suggestion if you want to sunday go for him i don't care about the one if you are starting as a new player go for akron first then go for sunday and then go for fugue you will have opportunity to get all three of the skills i guarantee you that one okay let's get on with this one here we'll go through the highlight page over here i'm not going to go through the actual live stream which they have done on yesterday uh for the actual update so which is pretty good actually we had march 7th uh sunday as well as pom pom there we'll go through those uh stuff anyway so it will be shadow over here too so first will be sunday so there you go so we got a sunday so after the version 2.3 uh trail base mission sunday was uh um yeah i think um jade escaped him so probably so we'll see we'll get to those things anyway so we'll go through the actual story for sunday he does have a return to Pan panacone now and he does have a one thing needs to be done anyway so that's character story over there and then we have don't worry about the uh, like concern anyway. so combat roles sunday's in support character either because he's in support character that allows ally characters and their summons to immediately take action so sunday as of now uh for uh, for the up next update which is 2.7 after 2.7 we have 3.0 emporius coming up so so sunday as of now it's kind of work, will be an okay um addition to your roster but as soon as we got 3.0 roster uh, roster characters once we have 3.0 coming up so which is what january in jan i don't know the actual date for the month anyway so uh, they never uh 3.0 drops there are a lot of characters will uh, with summons will be popping up and then you will uh, will then you will will actually so we'll get the benefit from sunday so sunday will be a wise choice to go for the uh down the track but if you don't care about him so as i do over here just go with the fug so fug will provide you a lot of benefit if you are a newer player i highly recommend you don't worry about like uh, not worrying about the sunday anymore just go for with fug so since we have the strongest cat in the game so far with the akron sunday so try to get her icon if you just what 10 days remaining for that one so for icons banner so it's my suggestion though you if you don't if you don't want it if you like the design for sunday and if you like him as a character go for sunday so a lot of people do, do like sunday but i don't i'm not one of them anyway so then we have fugue as you can able to see so fugue's release will be 25 12 2034 and 14 1 so which will be so one day after this banner over here will have the next update which is 3.0 for hunkai Stroll. so the next update will be on 15th uh, january so that will be pretty good i i think i will be free on 15th anyway a tactical uh, like tactful function girl so he, he, she's an uh updated version from uh, tingyun so tingyun was kind of uh, her uh actual uh, fate wasn't revealed entirely during uh the trail based mission in uh back in uh Jean -Jean 
but uh, she they have rebuilt it during the past two um, past one or two so before the one we had in panacone so back in uh, 2.5 i think also do, during 2.5 update trail based mission uh trail based interlude mission that is is it interlude mission yeah continuous mission sorry so trail based continuous mi mission uh, it was revealed at the very end that ruan my saved tingyun and she doesn't like a tingyun doesn't remember who she was so now she is taken up the role of a fugue as a name and then uh, she is going through um panacone first along with the actual uh, express crew and then she will go back to her home so we'll see how it goes so uh, name and india have all been stolen there i go so the fates uh, have left her a thread of a chance at survival yet the brand of destruction is still rises with the anticipation so pantalia kind of stole her body during that uh trail based continuous mission the one in your in your fugue who has experienced life and death and yeah the, she has experienced death that's there you go and is given a new life uh, when would she be able to return to home the fact ruan may can he like restore the life to like a Ching Yun? It's insane. It's very low low friendly. I I like like a really like that one. So Ruan Mei with Ruan Mei. So Ruan Mei was introduced in one of the uh, continuous mission, right? But they haven't showed actual role she plays on the lore. So now we can able to see better better from her. So with the, the resurrection of her Ching Yun, so resurrection are giving the life to Ching Yun. So we'll have more details regarding um. Uh, Ruan May's role in bringing her back, as well as uh, probably a lot of details will be shared by Fugue once we uh, once we go through the actual trail based continuous mission. So combat roles, Fugue is a support character that allows uh, ally units to reduce the enemy toughness regardless of a weakness type. There you go. So additionally, Fugue also allows all allies to more frequently trigger break damage and super break damage. She is very good actually in that role. So we already have a lot of characters with uh, just just like our with break damage providing break damage and uh, super break damage her uh, skill provides uh what's the one so there should be more details regarding the one i totally forgot the one anyway it's not a big deal anyway so we'll go through this one so we have that one right yeah that's our animation though will they showcase our e skill and the skill i think it's not available but she is a very good uh, uh character though so there you go that's our e skill there that's our burst So boss D is a uh, deals AOE damage, I suppose, and then uh, he is when you use an E skill from her, that it's uh, her skill. So you'll get an um, you'll get a even AOE damage along with a uh, like a provide support for the actual eye cutter not providing AOE damage. So the boss is the one provides AOE damage. Uh, in also enhancing our basic skill, basic uh, attack anyway. So there you go. That's those are nice suggestions for her. But at the moment, usually. So without going through the actual gameplay myself, foreign character, I can't like give my thoughts. So usually I give my thoughts for a specific character on live streams, so which is on every Sunday. So you can to check it there. Probably I'll put like a. I haven't posted any build videos so far, but I'll try to do more. So in the upcoming days, we'll see how it goes. So probably it will be Akron first, then I'll go through the other characters. Anyway. So next up will be light cones. So the signature light cone for Sunday over here, a ground ascent, and then ascent, and then a long road leads to home. So those are the uh, feature light cones available for Sunday uh, as well as a uh, hook there. And then we have events. So these are the things going on. So this is one express grip. This is an highly high anticipated one. And also the leaks were true regarding this one. I have gone through the leaks for this one here. There will be an another. Uh, you can choose a five star of your choice from the standard uh, banner, which is uh, the regular standard characters from the five regular five star characters. So up uh, all. Uh, like across the board you can choose one character either it's in a copy of the specific character let's say i have clara i can choose one more clara but i don't have bronya i think that will be the case for most of the ftp, FTP players out out there most of the ftp players not all of them uh like even half of them i, I don't, i'm not entirely sure so mm, let's say half of you guys don't have uh, characters like bronya himako or build so i have uh, people Jepar too I have seen people saying that I am missing one, 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 and all. And even I myself for here, I don't have Bronya. So I will be going after Bronya. Even I don't have copies of Himako. I got Himako from the 300, uh, 300 uh, choosing. So after making 300 uh, pulls on the standard banner, you come to choose one character. So that should be, that's my Himako. So now I come to get a uh, Bronya. That's very good. So as soon as a uh, 2.7 drops up, I will be going for Bronya. So that should be the first one. Then we have, as usual, we have Gift of Odyssey. So we got like a 10 pulls from that one. So one, two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 10, 10 free um, 
special uh, st uh, storage process, right? Yeah. Then we have Cosmic Home Decor Guide, uh, an event where you can build. This this is an, uh, another uh, huge update for for this update over here for the next update, which is 2.7. So where you'll have your own room for the Trailblazer. Yeah, there you go. And you can able to. Oh, we have uh, can be used to claim any of the four characters. So you can be able to claim any of one of these characters. They haven't mentioned this one at all. So Mose, uh, Jue, and Link. So you can be able to obtain one of these characters. So, did they mention it on the live stream? I, I haven't paying that much attention then. So they are, we have a choice to like uh, get an, one more copy of the character, which is good. And then we have a light one, I think. And then uh, we have a pom pom skin there. So cosmic home de uh, decor guide is purely full. Uh, that's an event. So where you can do unlock an uh, entire car and you can able to use it as a as as your home actually so ha as your room so we have a uh, party stuff anyway so we'll go through this one actually <clears throat> there you go uh what's the one okay this is the actual thing they have mentioned in the way so they, we can use in the car based one so that that's an uh, actual uh store suggested by pom pom and there you go new pom pom skin there and then uh, you have your own room where you can decorate everything so you can go for furniture so all those stuff can be available for this one here i'm not going to go through explaining all those stuff anyway you guys probably would have like a uh, gone through the live stream uh maybe you come to check it in a way but i'm just going to go go through this one quickly given an overview or it will be like, like on a one hour video anyway so i don't want to do that one so since it's my own suggestion over here this is very good usually i don't go for this kind of stuff so even in getting better my teapot is very uh what uh, nothing there it's nothing it's kind of nearly empty so but you guys will get benefit from this one here i'm uh, even though i'm not a huge fan of this kind of a stuff anyway but i'm i'm uh, like a what's that one rooting for this one yeah i was rooting for this one uh behind but now you guys you guys can have this one here anyway let's move on to the next one which will be between the frames uh kind of another photo event with uh, march 7th this, this time uh where is it one so Mr. Rekha, Mr. Rekha is providing you a suggestion for getting like a pro photograph. So we will see how that one turns out. Then we have a Planner Fisher double drop. And then we have a Realm of the Strange providing a double drop for Kevin Corrosion. Those things will come in handy for you. Then we have new gameplay. So Dive Engineers is the human comedy update. So we have a couple of like a, some curious coming up as well as along with an, uh, along with uh, some several uh, equations. So those things are new. So those are new things in a way. Then we have uh, this one, Pure Fiction mode update. So Pure Fiction has been updated. So uh, there's a lot of stuff added to this one. Yeah, adds grid gameplay in Pure Fiction mode. Once activated in battle, Trailblazers can uh, accumulate grid value. So by dishing or damage and uh, dealing a uh, break damage, uh, you can get, get crit grit value after accumulating grit value and entering surging grit so characters will gain powerful addition buffs there you go so those are additions anyway uh buffs extra buffs and you can put a clear pure fiction mode much more better uh with this addition and over here the grid system is available in uh dive engineers as well as uh, simultaneous i suppose yeah those things will are coming to pure fiction mode which is pretty good then uh, we don't have any more details so even drop is available Okay, we'll go through the one. If if it's, if it wasn't there, we'll go through the one. So even Rob, as it been, as we have seen before, we have a Sunday in phase one banner and a fugue along with a who's this one? Uh, Jingyuan. I totally forgot his name. Yeah, Jingyuan will be there. Then we have for phase two, we have fugue as well as firefly. So I'm basically going for phase two banner. So whether I'm gonna lose fifty fifty or or not so i'm gonna go for both fugue as well as uh, firefly then i have to farm like crazy for heta three for 3.0 but we'll see it's gonna be a hard one so that's one of the reason i'm skipping the first phase for this update anyway so we'll be sp skipping this one so that i come to go for these two characters since i already lost my 50 to firefly once so probably we'll see and then then we have the story so trail based continuous mission available so trail based mission here i will go through both uh the story for sunday as well as for fugue i think yeah this kind of can be experienced in advance through the final distribution function yeah there you go okay some will return some will leave soon leave the dreamscape okay you can do like actually check the previous stories there's an option for that one so actually check the pre story what happened there there's a story recap available you can go through the one before doing the trail based mission yeah can be done so it will refresh our memory for players as myself for here as a world player environmental visuals we have uh, 
So party car, yeah, party car will be available. There is also party car after replacement the cosmic home decor, which I which we have gone through before. Uh, trade base can unlock a uh, trade base room and obtain pump pump software. There you go, those things are available now. So, we didn't miss it, you know, there's only one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's our uh, room, and then uh, there's a staircase. We can go for our own bedroom and all those stuff. So, we can be uh, like a decor decorate how we feel anyway. This is a very good addition, actually. Then we have. Oh, we have five. After the version 2.7 update, when Trailbase is unlocked, new Trailbase mission, a choice of whether to view the story recap will begin. There you go. So, you can do like a recap the actual story, which is pretty good. Then you have uh, Trailbase can obtain one outfit with the outfit with the cosmic home decor guide. After obtaining the outfit, Trailbase can change pom poms outfit in a pom poms courtroom found in the party card. There you go. You can do that one. Then, next up, it will be. Uh, Hold on, on selected characters and quickly switch characters position while dragging and dropping. That will be pretty good. That be, yeah, that will be pretty good. We don't have that option as of now. It's very late implementation. I was asking for this one for a long time. Now we're getting the one, which is pretty good. Ne next up, it will be after the version 2.7 update, mobile clients of a game will support deleting some audio performance. There, there it will say like a clear of some of your actual uh, actual space in your uh, like a space for space for your storage anyway so you can do that one on mobile devices is very comfortable like a uh, clear some of the old face i'm not entirely sure how they're going to implement the one but they will give you a guide i think so memory of chaos will receive an update in the version 2.7 uh quick unlock function has been updated increasing the maximum number of stages that can be quickly unlocked from the first seven stages we had seven up to seven stages before to the first nine stages so you can do like a straight away go for ninth stages which is which will make easier grind actually so the grind will be much more reduced anyway so we have two more features coming up so where instead of a self modding license, we have upgraded self modding license where you can be able to choose uh, the substats as well, and then you can be able to change the already. So there's a die, a die kind of a feature will be coming up. So there's an, another uh, self modding or uh, resin like a self modding resin kind of thing is coming up. So the self modding resin will be go to will undergo a change along with this one over here. There will be a die feature which which was available on the live stream. I thought it will be here, but it's not. Anyway, so I'll just try to explain it anyway. So you have like let's say, uh, you have a uh, uh, attack on the so let's for gauntlet as an let's take gauntlet as an example. So you have attack um, as the main stat, right? So then you have attack and then we have critical rate, critical damage, and then a defense. So those are the five stats, right? So you have rolled up is is the actual example they have provided in, in the actual uh, live stream. So I'll go through the one. So you rolled of uh, rolled. That artifact so rolled that uh, relic sorry not artifact you have rolled for that relic and you obtained three uh lost your rolls on uh, defense for thrice in uh two defense only so now you can able to with that die you can able to like reallocate that one i think it's a chance feature i'm not really sure so instead of going for pure defense you can able to like allocate those three rolls to critical rate or critical damage i think it's a chance feature since we have die function i'm not really sure how that's gonna work but they haven't given us proper uh like a for the one uh but it will be available from 2.7 update so there are those are two features available for for them uh for the actual uh what's the feature Relic feature, yeah. The relic mechanics is the only downgrade in this game in the entire game. Now they're gonna implement a strong feature which will overtake what we have in Genshin Impact, which is a weak one, in, in my opinion. Very weak one. Uh, they're gonna like uh, do more for what we for the relics which we obtained earlier, too. So that's pretty good, anyway. And the uh, one new ones, too. So, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, that will help the actual grind for the game, and you probably will get more proper relics for our characters at the moment i don't have proper relics on most of my characters it this will help me a lot this will help, help players like me a lot so that's the actual thing and then we have the actual trailer for 3.0 they have a like a pod trailer anyway. so we got a, a, a what's the one uh 12 characters coming up i'm not really sure what they called so uh, i totally forgot the scratch I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to go through those details anyway without actually seeing the one. So usually I don't go for the one. So leaks are covered all over the place. Those are not, that's some trailer reveal. So you can watch trailer with just the trailer. I without knowing the actual characters and all those details, I can't able to go for the one. But it's an uh, based on Greek mythology. I really like enjoyed that one. I enjoyed the trailer. 
but uh, I have no way. I'm not going to make a video for separate for the uh, actual trailer there. It due to the fact I don't have any details regarding the one. But I knew like I know a lot of stuff about Greek mythology, but when it comes to the game, the actual information may vary. So I'm not going to go for the actual trailer. So I'm not going to go for the trailer. This is my opinion for the trailer. That trailer is very good. I'm kind of looking for the, forward to the one. We'll see how the one that one goes. And also, it it does have a link to the link to Honkai Impact Third game. So I haven't played the uh, like read through the lore for Honkai Impact Third game, and also I haven't played the game, so I can't really justify doing any video without knowing anything regarding that those things anyway. So I'm not going to go touch any of those things anyway. And uh, regarding 3.0, so we we have the Herta reveal finally. I thought a Herta will be uh, will look very similar to Lisa, so that's what I mentioned during one of my um, drip marketing uh, video. So I have posted that one. And now actually they have showcased Herta, and there's a uh, Herta like a multiple puppets of Herta available through one point of the trailer. I'm very curious what what's happening there, and one Herta puppet kind of walking. Uh, in between them so that's very really good i'm looking forward to the one and then we have uh, hata kind of uh, watching the actual uh, live stream at the end um like uh watching it in a mirror kind of thing or in portal i'm not really sure what it is anyway so glass mirror glass portal whatever it is anyway she's watching through that one uh, that i really, really enjoyed watching that one and then we have hata hata looks very insanely like a badass and also she's really good cute as well i'm looking forward to getting hata there so with hata so i was worried that she will resemble Lisa, but mostly, but like uh, after the actual reveal video, so actually after the launch trailer over here, uh, when they have a uh, showcased her in motion, she looks like a, she is very similar to the Herta puppets, in my opinion. Yeah, she looks very similar to Herta pu uh, puppets, but I really, really like her design now, so I don't need to worry about her design anymore. So, there you go. Those are things available for uh, the actual next 2.7 update. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video over here. I don't think uh, I'm probably I have missed a lot of stuff anyway. You can do like uh, let me know in the comments below what I have missed anyway. But the trailer for I'm um, like, um, what's the trail Scott? I don't know the actual name. I totally forgot the one. I can't have remember on top of my head. Sorry for that one. But that trailer was inside the trailer after the not this trailer over here for this update over here. There's another trailer for Amp regarding Amphorius. So Hata was there at the end too and yeah we have a lot of things to look forward towards 3.0 so january is a packed month if you are playing gacha games which i yeah it will be in a packed month since we have uh like a genshin pet and everything is coming up back to back probably on the same day i'm not really sure jan 2 is the release date for um 2.0 update in Wuthering Ways. Then we, within the 10 days time period, we have Amphorius coming up. And Genshin Impact will be anywhere between uh, 2nd and 3rd uh, uh, January. I'm not really sure. Yeah. That should be it. Anyway, make sure to check the title and thumbnail for each video's analysis of mine. Since I cover different games on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make, take care everyone. Bye for now.